The Story of the Goldfish and the Forgotten Lady Once upon a time, in a certain family, people were born with great talent and beauty, each person had their own look. The eldest girl is beautiful, but the second girl is even prettier and the third girl is the prettiest. The fourth girl knows how to walk in the clouds and return to the wind, and the fifth girl has the ability to sleep without sleeping. The sixth girl has hair like drumsticks and the seventh girl is the gentlest, often called forgetfulness. Unlike her, the six older sisters only always think about doing bad things. Seven sisters live on a beautiful island, where bamboo clumps creak in the wind and coffee beans are processed most skillfully. Miss Oot and number 39's name is actually NYI Bingsu Rirang but people often call her forgetfulness. It and number 39 s not that she and number 39 s forgetful and dozen and hash 39 t remember anything it and number 39 s that people often forget her when her mother served rice her six older sisters swooped in to eat like a flock of sparrows eating and eating until there was not a grain of rice left little miss forgot could only sit and sob when her parents died, Little Forgot had to live in misery. The sisters raced to get married, competing for all the boys in the village to the point that there were no boys left for Lang K. So all the sisters had husbands and children, houses were in order, barns were full of cattle, and granaries were full of rice, but Lang K had no place to stay. She had to sleep among the ferns. One day the sisters asked Lang Quen to come and help thresh rice. She came to work from early morning until late at night and after finishing work, she only dared to ask her sisters, If you love me, please give me some rice so I can go home and cook a bowl of porridge to last the day. Not only did the sisters not give it, they also scolded and insulted Lang Quen. What a shameless person. Don and number 39. T you know this is rice for the chicken? Are you planning on eating the whole chicken? And the girl was rewarded with another brutal beating from her older sisters. Forgetfulness returned crying. She wandered around hoping to find something to eat. She kept walking and walking until finally she stopped by the lake. There was a fisherman there who caught a fish. The fish is struggling at the end of the line. It and number 39, s so beautiful, its body is golden and sparkling. However, the fish is very small, so small that it can lie on a fingernail. Lang K loved the fish so much. She quickly ran to the fisherman and begged, Uncle, please Don and number 39. T kill this poor fish. If you eat it, you one and number 39. T taste anything because it and number 39. S so small. Please open your heart. Please give it to me. It will be your companion. In return, I will pray to heaven and earth to bless you with luckier fishing trips. I want to save this fish and number 39. S life. Fortunately, the fisherman is a good person. Uncle gave the small fish to forgetfulness. In her life, she had never experienced such great joy. This was the first time she had received something from someone else. The girl quickly filled the coconut shell with water and put the fish in it. She named it. Even though she had nothing to eat. Every time she asked for something she always remembered to bring a portion back to the fish. Goldfish also grow bigger. The coconut shell dozen and hash 39. Tea have enough room for it anymore. When it was as long as three fingers, she put it in a small lake in the forest. Every time she asked for some rice, she would run to the lake and call. 
goldfish, goldfish, goldfish. Come here, little fish. I will feed him. And goldfish will never rise up if they hear a stranger and number 39's voice. Gradually, forgetfulness created a poem calling fish, golden fish. Goldfish are goldfish. Turn the waves and come up here with me. Share what I and number 39, they found. Hurry up, lovely goldfish. Just hearing forgetfulness sing like that made her swim close to the shore, stick her head out of the water and bite. Grains of rice in her friend and number 39's hand and left behind a few goldfish scales. And when forgetfulness walked away, the fish always signaled goodbye by swinging its tail vigorously. Soon, the goldfish was as big as a baby. In the past, he was a lovely little carp. Now he has become a big carp with sparkling gold scales. It understood human language and complied with forgetfulness and number 39's requests. The evil sisters sooner or later learned that forgetfulness often talked to a goldfish in the lake in the forest. Together they persuaded forgetfulness to give them the fish. The eldest girl said, Hey, silly sister, Don and number 39, do you know about fried carp? Do you want to taste fish stew? The second girl said, Have you never enjoyed grilled fish? The third aunt said. The sisters used all their words, sometimes flattering, sometimes scolding, to force Lang Ke to give them the fish. They also promised to invite Lang Ke to the party and bring her silk clothes to attend the festival. Finally Lang Ke said, Then who will share with me the cakes that you promised me but only as cake drawing? No. A thousand times no. My fish, I and number 39, LL keep it. Without my fish, you guys wouldn't and hash 39, T be able to starve to death. This time, you guys realize that you can and number 39, T bully forgetfulness like before. They shouted even louder, just wait, you stubborn person, you will see. Having said that, they returned home and told the husbands to go fishing for goldfish. Strangely enough, the goldfish never surfaced. It only emerged when listening to forgetfulness sing a familiar song. That and number 39. S something the evil sisters Don and number 39. T no. They tried to find a way to lure the goldfish out, but to no avail. One evening, a sister hid in the bushes to spy on how forgetfulness called the goldfish out. She strained her ears and heard the fish calling song and repeated it until she memorized it. The next morning, while Lang Ke went to work in the village, the sisters went to the lake. They had prepared sharp knives and hoped to imitate the voice of forgetfulness as closely as possible. The eldest sister sipped a little honey and then began to raise her voice. Goldfish. A goldfish is a goldfish. Turn the waves with me. Share what I and number 39, they earned. Hurry up, lovely goldfish. The surface of the lake water moves. The goldfish swam towards the shore where the sisters were standing. Goldfish was wrong. It is swimming towards the cruel people, they do not bring rice to the goldfish like forgetfulness used to do. The hand that feeds the goldfish is not the hand of forgetfulness but the hand of the cruel sisters. Hearing the familiar call, the goldfish raised its head above the water, its mouth open. Quickly, the sisters caught the goldfish and cut off its head. Returning home, the sisters divided the goldfish. Everyone wants to choose the best part, the remaining head is left to wear on the table. 
When night falls, after a day of hard work, Lang Ke quickly returns to the lake in the forest to meet his little friend again. Mine. She still sings the familiar song. But this time, the lake water remained quiet. She sang again, then again, but the goldfish still did not appear. Forgetfulness began to sob. The little girl felt lonely and pitiful. Could it be that the goldfish has forgotten me? Lang Ke thought to herself. Suddenly through her tears, she discovered a trail of blood on the lakeside grass. Oh my God, am I really crying blood? She wondered, her heart clenched in pain. In that moment, she suddenly remembered her sisters and their threats. She immediately ran towards the village. But when they heard her question, the sisters calmly said, Do you think we are thieves? Do we want to beg like you? They even told Lang Quen to just come to their house and search. Searched the car and found traces of the goldfish. Realizing this impudence, the hen in the coop was so angry that she cried out, Cluck cluck that and number 39. S the head on the small board hearing that, the sisters hastily hid the fish head in the pile of bowls and chopsticks in the sink. The hen continued, among the pile of dishes, it and number 39, S.A. goldfish head. The sisters hastily hid the fish head in the stove, covering it with a piece of snake meat. The hen cried again, clucking. In the middle of the stove, it was the fish and number 39, S. head. This time, the sisters were mad at the hen. They grabbed the chicken by the neck and while angry, they conveniently threw the chicken into the place where it was kept. Fish head. They sneered and mocked forgetfulness. Here, your beloved fish. You can bring it back if you want. We eat it. So what? I feel so sorry for forgetfulness. Her tears flowed like a stream. She hugged the remaining fish head back to her sleeping place by the lake. She gently washed the fish head, anointed it with fragrant oil and wrapped it in a clean cloth before burying it right next to where she lay. Every day, she watered the grave with countless tears. And then a miracle happened. From that grave a strange plant grew and grew very quickly. People say it and number 39, S.A. tea tree, but its leaves are like fish scales and made of dragon gold. Above the golden leaves are sparkling silver flowers. These flowers soon fell, giving way to berries that no one had ever seen. These are fruits made of precious stones, pearls, and diamonds, all as big as the head of an ill-fated fish. Anyone who looks up at the tree will be dazzled. At night the tree radiates more light than the bright sunshine during the day. On a beautiful day, the young king walked through the forest. Seeing the magical tree, he immediately asked to meet the owner. The beautiful girl with a sad face walked out of the shabby hut and told the king everything. Immediately, the king fell in love with the girl. He took her back to the palace and our little girl Forgetfulness has now become the queen. Forgetfulness brought the goldfish head back to bury it in the royal garden and there grew a strange tree. Every night, she went to the tree, cried for the fish and number 39's fate, and her tears watered the tree and number 39's roots. Soon the magical tree grew into a tree of gold, silver flowers and diamonds and that kingdom became the richest in the world. Time passed and a year of drought came to that kingdom. People and animals have to wander everywhere to find water to drink. The dense forest also became dry and lost all its leaves. The cruel sisters had to abandon the buffalo herd because they died from thirst and hunger. Even the girls had nothing left to.
eat or drink. They immediately went to the youngest sister and number 39's house. But the queen did not forgive their cruelty. All three times she sent someone to chase them away. One time, when she came to cry at the goldfish and number 39's grave, the precious tree suddenly shone brighter than ever, its golden scales colliding to create a song. From old resentments, the golden tree has grown. And you, my precious friend, forgive me. Forgive mistakes hearing the tree sing like that. Lang Ke immediately forgave all the mistakes of her sisters and she also forgot all the things they did to harm her and the goldfish. From then on, the seven sisters lived in love and happiness again. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.